By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to create a script, generate a voiceover, and edit a colorful and engaging video. I've simplified this many times over, and with this method, you can easily generate 10 pieces of content a day. This is how I made $10,000 a week as the 11-year-old day trader. Step one, I cleaned up my act and stopped watching iCarly. Step two, I stole my grandma's wallet to fund my ambitions. Step three, I joined a Discord group to tell me when to buy and sell. Step one is of course deciding what you're going to make. So just go to YouTube or Instagram and find something you're passionate about and make sure it has lots of likes. Step two is to go to ChatGPT and ask it to write you a 20 to 30 second script about this topic and tell it to give you ideas for visuals as well. Step three, go to a website called Eleven Labs, paste your script, choose your voice, hit generate and download it. Step four is to bring that MP3 file into DaVinci Resolve and now we can begin editing. Okay, let's generate some subtitles. Go to Timeline, Create Subtitles from Audio, and then Maximum Characters 8, and then press Create. Now, this is a plugin called Snap Captions. I'm going to put a link in the description on how to download it, but essentially, you can take a text plus clip, customize it however you want, and this plugin will automatically match it with every subtitle we just generated. It's super awesome and it saves a lot of time. So you select your custom text, all uppercase, remove punctuation and max full 50 frames, press generate, and just like that, it's done. So now we can just delete this first subtitle track, drag a background of your choice in, and then I'm gonna drag this shape I got from Canva in, and uh, just resize it a little bit, and then I'm actually gonna put a glow on it by pressing shift space and searching glow in the fusion tab. Now we're gonna animate it. So on the first frame, keyframe it, and then go to the very last frame, and then use the rotation angle so it looks like this. Now we're gonna drop in a character, size them how we want. On the first frame, slide them down, keyframe them, go over however many frames you want, and then slide them back up. Now press the spline, click position Y, click this dot, and smooth it out. This is gonna smooth the animation. So it looks like this. Perfect. Now we're going to drag in some money and we're going to add a glow to this. Deselect the green so we get kind of a purple look and then we're just going to turn down the glow a little bit so it looks like that. Now we're just going to keyframe and slide this character out of the way and put in our 11 year old trader. Slide him down, keyframe him, and then slide him back up. Now again we're going to smooth out his animation. So we have something that looks like this. Now we're gonna add a transition. I just got this one from Motion Array. Put composite mode to screen, and then I'm putting a camera shutter sound effect underneath. Now I found this hand again from Canva, and we're going to animate it up using the position Y and the rotation angle. Then we're going to put this trash can in, got it from Canva, slide it down, keyframe it, slide it up. Now we're gonna drag this iCarly clip underneath the trash can layer, size it down, keyframe it, size it up, pretty simple. Now we're gonna add a drop shadow to the trash can to make it pop a little bit more. Just adjust the blur a little bit. Now hold option and drag this shape over to duplicate it. Drag your grandma in and resize her. Drag the purse in and we're going to position these two how we want them to end after the slide up. Now we're going to come over a bit and cut these two clips and turn them into a compound clip. This is so that they move together when we animate them. So again, slide them down, keyframe, slide them up. Now we're gonna drag in this cat paw and resize it so it looks like it's grabbing the bag. We're gonna keyframe it to come from the right and grab the bag. Then we're gonna cut these two clips again and turn these back two into a compound clip so that when we drag it, they both move together. Keyframe, go over a few frames, and then slide it out. Perfect. And then again, we can just smooth out that animation. So it looks like that. Now I sped up this part because it's getting repetitive. It's just keyframing, adding glows, adding drop shadows, sound effects. If you can just stick to a color theme and get good at keyframing, you're pretty much 90% there. 